What you're looking at here is an angle gear from a 2007 XC70, and I want to be able to use it in my 2002, which has a different size flange. So what I'm gonna show you here is an easy method to take the flange off. So you can switch it up. Get yourself a plumber's wrench. Since I'm not gonna reuse this flange, I'm not too worried about damaging it. But basically, you need to be able to counter hold it as you pound away. Get some ear protection on. It's on. That's a 30 millimeter socket in there, by the way. Bolt off. Flange it should come off. Here is the angle gear that with the flange on. Here is the flange. It simply fixes in there like so. And then what we want to confirm now is oh, phew. okay, so this is the narrower flange from the O2, and I had not yet confirmed that you can actually use the same splines, but it looks like you most definitely can. And the only issue becomes you need the different size um, seal. So I'm gonna order that seal, which has a narrower inside diameter. I think it's 39 millimeters or something and I'll take this out put the new seal on put the new flange on to apparently 180 to 200 Newton meter which I will double check and then I will have myself a angle gear that's ready to roll for my O2 V70 XC flange is side by side Let's look at these come on Okay, so this is the one I need. This is the one I took off. So you can tell, interestingly, the flange for the O2 is larger than the flange for the O7, but the neck on the O2 is smaller than the neck on the O7. Hmm. 